Hi, this is Julie with North Georgia GMRS, and I'm sitting here with my husband, Justin. And today, what we wanted to share uh, with our viewers is, what is Vanguard? There's all this talk about Vanguard. We want to hear about what is it and how did it come to be? Well, that's a great question. Uh, Vanguard was a, a vision of, of what we could do with uh, the next level of, of studio environment. So it all, it all begins with uh, the Studio G. Studio G was a, um, well, it still is. It's a mobile production facility that allows us to do the studio environment nets from virtually anywhere. So the first deployment of Studio G was uh, an eight-person panel uh, at, at the Chattanooga Ham Fest a couple of years ago uh, where we did the net live from the, from the Ham Fest uh, facility. Studio Vanguard is, is kind of the next level of that. So Studio Vanguard allows for a studio environment to be in a mobile platform where we can deploy that virtually anywhere. Uh, unlike Studio G where you have a case and you have wires strung out everywhere and microphones and headphones and radios and coax all just kind of snaking out of this box, uh, Studio G contains all of that into a much uh, more readily deployable platform. So, so Vanguard allows us to have you know, radios installed and in place that can be quickly stood up with antennas and, and become, become on the air in, in a matter of under an hour. Um, and then the desks and the microphones and the, uh, the, the video monitors can all also be rapidly set up and, and, and able to uh, get that station ready to be on the air very quickly. And from that, we can produce the same quality of content uh, that we do on Thursday nights, but we can do it from anywhere. Beyond that, Studio Vanguard was created also to be able to serve uh, in public uh, communications events. So one of our goals for Studio Vanguard was uh, for JeepFest. And so it has the capability of, of being able to operate in multiple bands. We can have some stations that are set up to operate in VHF to be able to interface with the police department for official communications. And then we can also have the rest of the studio configured to operate on GMRS so that we can take those official communications and be able to share information with the GMRS Jeep community that are, is there at the event. Or if we find out about something that has occurred, we can take that information over to the official channels and let the police know that, that this has happened and uh, you need to deal with it. Um, and so it's just kind of a bridge between the two uh, platforms and the two groups of communications because the official communication is very different and not something that really should be public facing. Uh, whereas the GMRS communication is, is very public and very open and it's not something that the police have the time or the, or the interest in, in really monitoring because they, they have other things that they're trying to deal with. So we stand in the middle and we filter between the two and we're able to provide that service. So when people have gone to ham fests and events, um, public events, etc., you have seen these mobile studios out there. What sets Vanguard apart from the others that you've seen? So typically you would find at a, at a ham fest or, or at a, any kind of a deployment with an amateur radio club, you'll see their mobile communications platform. Um, and they'll have HF radios, they'll have VHF radios, they'll have all things amateur radio oriented to communicate with the amateur radio community. And that can be a huge asset uh, if, you, if you have deployed because of a search and rescue mission or you've deployed because of severe weather, whatever the, the case may be, those communications tools and that platform is a huge asset in engaging whatever, whatever that response deployment was for. The difference between those platforms and ours, Vanguard is a studio uh, and it's a communications platform. So we maintain the studio environment where we can have multiple operators communicating on a single radio. And whereas in an amateur radio environment, they'll have multiple operators communicating on individual radios. Mm. 
there's a purpose for that, but what we do is considerably different. And so we're able to provide the studio environment in a mobile platform and, and make that work for GMRS and also be able to serve the community. How did Vanguard come to be? How many people from our club came together and pulled their skill sets together to make this actually become what it is? Well, first and foremost, Jeff and uh, Jeff, Karen and I uh, put this vision together and presented it to Gary that this is what we would like to do with this trailer. And uh, Gary says, what's your budget? And uh, well, we didn't know how to budget for this because there's, there's so many variables that come into play uh, along the way, dynamically, that we didn't really see that coming. Uh, for instance, we had some 43-inch TVs, monitors that we could have used. Um, but when it was time to install them, we found that each different brand of TV has the mounting hardware points on the back of the TV at a different place on the back. Some of them are near the bottom. Some of them are near the top. So if we're going to mount those TVs in a trailer, they're, they're going to be, they're going to be, their elevations are going to be all weird. So in order to have a consistent appearance across the trailer, we need to have some new TVs. We'd already spent so much money. We knew that if we'd asked Gary for more money for for TVs, he would have he would have tripped a breaker. So, <laughs> so these are things that we just took it upon ourselves to budget out of our own money and and uh, uh, make it happen. And and that's part of what developed Studio Vanguard into what it is. So. There were a number of people that were involved in the construction of Studio Vanguard. Jeff Karen uh, was key in bringing skills and ideas and uh, uh, and, and hands-on. He put uh, no telling how many hours. Uh, we worked on Vanguard for months. Uh, David Loomis and his family came and helped uh, with uh, with some of the work. Uh, David uh, Soyak was there uh, contributing to uh, uh, to the construction of Vanguard. Uh, did a lot of work on the flooring for Vanguard. Um, there were a number of members that came and contributed in different ways and support for the project uh, along the way. So again, it's a it's a matter of people bringing their skills mm -hmm. and their talents uh, in with the with the intent of accomplishing a, a common goal. Well, very good. Thank you for sitting and helping to explain to our viewers and our listeners what all the hype is about Vanguard. And if you guys get an opportunity, we often take it to a lot of the ham fests um, and other meet and greet things that we have had along the way. So make sure you have an opportunity to take a tour and then when you see it standing by. So thank you. Thank you. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. <laughs>